for anyone who needs some motivation to make some at home, to make their own ingredients, to get these delicious and unique cocktails at home, what would you tell them? So, number one, just because you're making a cocktail should not, it definitely means that, that you should have a great spirit that mm -hmm. goes into it. Um, your luxury spirits, a, a better spirit always means better flavor. Um, so, great spirit, and then the other really important thing to remember with cocktails is one sweet, one sour. So you'll, you'll always have, a, like, it's never, it's always a combination of flavors. A uh, cocktail should never be drowning in any single flavor or be super, super spirity. Mm -hmm. It should have, you should have all the other notes and balance, well, balance is created by citrus and acidity, acidity and sugar. So your citrus element, your, sh your um, acidity element, limes, lemons, it's that easy. When it comes to the sugar element, everything from liqueurs, a rooibos syrup that we used a little bit earlier, uh, jam, you can go jump into your jam cupboard. Uh, and That's interesting. I've never heard of putting jam in a drink you until you did it. Really? Yeah. So it's, it's just, it's, you, you're introducing, with, when you're making jams, there's sugar and fruit. Mm -hmm. So it's adding a particular flavor, that fruit, to that sugar. So, so you're just adding that to your drink this time around. You can add juice after that. You, d you don't need lots of fancy equipment either. Yeah. As long as you have a spoon, which I hope everyone has. <laughs> I'm sure that everybody <laughs> has. You can pretty much stir a drink. I know you were mentioning earlier that if you have a flair for culinary and you like cooking, um, craft cocktails might be the thing for you because Definitely. you you get a lot of um, inspiration from mixing ingredients. I know you put ginger and rosemary in one of the cocktails. Yes. I think a lot of people who enjoy cooking don't think that translates into cocktails. This is, no, not necessarily. The really and a really great experience as well. Instead of doing a normal wine pairing for guests or friends at home, would be to why not do a cocktail pairing? And you actually adding you can you can even infuse whiskey with blue cheese. Yes. Wow. I will show you one day. That's one for another show. <laughs> Definitely. <laughs>